Hey everybody, what's going on there? This is Hooves, and uh, I just wanted to show this to the community. Now, at my uh, place of work, I actually have to use Google, Google Earth a little bit, and uh, I thought, hey, maybe I'll take some of those skills, I'll bring them home, and I'll see what I can do with the Stalingrad map. Now again, this is a very base plate set of skills, and um, just enough to be dangerous, right? So. As you can see on my screen, I got a picture of the Stalingrad map uh, that was released to the community. Um, a couple people have taken this and made some really cool products. Uh, I know one guy made a an en route map, uh, which is uh, very cool, and uh, I also took advantage of that uh, here, and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, what I decided to do was take Google Earth, as you can see down here, this not Google Maps, it's Google Earth, and uh, create an overlay. So. What you do is you come up here, you, you, you download the picture from the forums, you, you uh, save it, you come up here, you hit add, and uh, we want to add an image overlay, right? So you can come in here, you can name it, uh, let's name it Stalingrad, then you browse, and uh, I saved this picture on my desktop, right? So the Stalingrad map number one, and it has to be a JPEG, I tried it with a BMP, it does not work. Uh, so use a JPEG, and you open, all right? And then uh, you'll see the the picture show up in these gates, right? So you can kind of see it. I've already I've already worked with a little bit, so we're not going to um, uh, go too far into it. But what you can do is you can set the altitude. You make sure it is clamped to the ground, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else you don't really need. You don't have to set the uh, uh, area or anything like that. So. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out of that because I've already done the work here and uh, we can kind of see it. So there's some really cool things that uh, Google Earth allows you to do. Um, one of them is, you know, make maps. So what I uh, really wanted to do is help aid navigation uh, in a cool way. Now what I'm going to do is set this up on my second monitor and I can tab out and I can, uh, you know, change things on the fly. So, but here's uh, the ruler tool. And tool in Google Earth and you can set this up and say we want to do a line and we we'll set it in kilometers and we want to get our degree heading right so say I want to make that kolach to uh, Bekatovka run right that resupply run so here's my line boom ba boom done right so I'm gonna fly uh, uh, about 60 kilometers and about 106.44 degrees if I were to be so accurate so that's just one really cool little area and then you can make say you wanted to make another one you can and you can save everything and and you can make it basically make a flight plan out of it um so that's that was what i started doing and then i was like you know that you know what also would be cool is this is google earth i can rotate this map around so bam i can bring this map down and i can move it all around now what I did do is I took the old 42 map and I overlaid it over today, modern day Volgograd. I turned off all the modern day cities um, and I tried to line up the rivers. Now they line up remarkably well. Um, I will say it is tedious. It takes a little bit of time to do this. So I use these small rivers and a lot of them line up really well. Like this one here lines up really good with the river behind it. Um, one thing you can do is you can change the uh, opacity of the map. So you can see that, and you can see that the rivers line up really quite, quite well. Um, at at some point, you just kind of have to, to to buy what you have and uh, and move on, because you're never going to get it quite perfect unless you just spend hours. Uh, but it's good enough for what uh, what I wanted it to do, so I, I went ahead and accepted what I had. Um, and so there, yeah, you can fly around and you can you know take a look at it from that direction that maybe you're going to make the trip at, stuff like that. And you can uh, you can do a couple more. You can make the terrain more uh, popping up. Oop. Actually, we'll just leave it at three because it won't let you go to five. But you can see then you can uh, kind of see the river valleys and see the elevation changes and whatnot. So it's just just something kind of cool that uh, again I wanted to um, bring home and and uh, share with the community. Now I did tell you that I was going to show you that other routes map. So let's turn this off. And we'll turn this. Off. On. So there we go. So it looks like it's a, a little bit smaller of a map, um, but I was able to overlay that, and you can see these roots. Unfortunately, when this 
this one when you zoom up on it it gets a little blurry it's not uh not as high def as the other map but you can get a get close close in there 270 you know 90 so you can see some of the runway headings and um and uh some of the the connectors and whatnot but you can do this with pretty much any map that that's accurate and in fact you could do it with any map that's not accurate you could literally just save it as a, a kml and just use that area if you wanted to use the google tools um but I just thought I'd overlay it, the actual area and uh, see how it compared, which was remarkable. Now, I did find that this map actually did line up uh, a lot better than the other map. But again, it, they're, they're very close and uh, they work for what, what I'm going for. So, um, so that's it. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, comment on the video or feel free to comment in the forums. And maybe so there's some other tools that we can use in uh, Google Earth. Um, that I don't know about because again I have an entry level uh, knowledge of how Google Earth works and uh, I'm just learning more so with that uh, Hooves signing off and I'll see you in the skies <laughs>